Hello folks, it's Fossil Friday, and today we're talking about trilobites. You can actually, you can't see that, it's cool. Trilobites are some of the most well-known invertebrates of the fossil record, and part of it's just that they're super identifiable, and part of it's that there's a crap load of them. Trilobites turned up in the Cambrian explosion and lasted all the way until the Permian Great Dying. That is 469 million years that they were on the planet and scooting around on the ocean floor. That's, that's a very, very long time, and uh, most animals can't compete with that at all. Trilobites are a type of seafaring arthropod. Arthropods are a phylum that include crustaceans like crabs, crayfish, lobsters, uh, arachnids like spiders and scorpions, millipedes, centipedes, and of course, the plethora of insects that we have. So in simple terms, a trilobite is just a really big sea bug. Or in some cases, a really small sea bug, because some of them are kind of tiny. The name trilobite means three lobes, and it's in reference to the three lobes that make up its body. It also has three segments, so it just likes the threes. They were made for threes. So this diagram here kind of shows you how they're split. So if you look at the top one, the horizontal segments are split as follows. Number one is the cephalon, or the head. Number two is the thorax, or the abdomen. And number three is the pygidium, or the butt. And then we look at the lower part. The vertical lobes are the left and right pleural lobe, and the central axial lobe all the threes. Trilobites are found on all modern continents and occupied all paleo oceans and seas. There are thousands of known species and because they appeared and disappeared quickly and left behind hundreds of molts, they make excellent index fossils to help us uh, relatively date rocks. Uh, this photograph shows representations of 10 orders of trilobites, just to give you an idea of how big this group really is. So 10 orders that are broken up into like 500 genuses or something insane like that, which are then broken up into thousands of species. There are a lot of trilobites. There are also tons of immaculate specimens from various quarries around the world. Uh, including the Burgess Shale in Canada. There's a really good one in New York that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head, but it, both of these have got soft body preservation. There's lots of other ones. There's um, one in Australia. There's Sirius Passet in uh, Greenland. There's one in Russia. There's a couple in China. These guys are everywhere, and there are some really good Lagerstatten's in the Cambrian Wheeler Shale of Utah, where I got this little guy from. So there's tons of places you can go to find trilobites. I mean, this one, this one came from a public quarry in Delta, Utah. So if you want your own trilobite, go to Delta, Utah. If you don't live on this side of the country, go to New York. If you don't live in this country at all, like I said, there's tons of places that you probably could go to get one. So, trilobites, man. They're cool. Hope you guys learned a little bit about trilobites, and I will talk to you later.